Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to be showing you how to DIY your own candles which is super super fun so if you guys want to see how to make your own candles then please keep on watching. So what you're going to need is a bag of soy wax. I bought this one off of Amazon mason jars fragrance wax that you can melt down with your wax, some crazy glue or a glue stick and some wicks. I bought everything off of Amazon and I will leave links where you can buy it all in the description box below. So you're going to want to go ahead and fill a pot of water and just put it on your stove over low to medium heat. I like to put it low just so that the wax melts very very slow. And then you want to go ahead and put a glass bowl right on top, get a measuring cup and I put about two to three cups into this bowl right here. and it's gonna take 35 to 45 minutes for the wax to melt and then while the wax is melting you want to go ahead and add your fragrance cubes and this is just gonna give the wax a little bit of a smell because the wax I'm using has no smell so if you want to go ahead and you can add your fragrance cubes or you can just leave the wax alone it's up to you guys so you want to keep checking back in on your wax every 10 minutes or so and just keep mixing it around just to make sure that the wax is melting evenly I put about three to four cubes in each bowl of wax that I melt. It's personal preference on how strong you want your candle to smell, but I like to, it to smell super, super strong, so I put about four fragrance cubes in. So while the wax is melting, you want to just go ahead and decorate your mason jar. You can put whatever you want. I just decided to put stickers, and on this mason jar, I put the word Gma for Grandma, so, so I'm going to give it to her as a present at, for Christmas. I think it's a great way to DIY your own Christmas presents, and I think it's a great way to decorate your house. So once you finish decorating your jar, you want to go ahead and glue down your wick to your mason jar. I use the glue gun because I think it's a lot stronger. So you just want to make sure you stick your wick directly into your mason jar right in the center just so that the candle burns nice and even. And then you want to also take a pair of scissors or a pencil, whatever you have, a spoon, and just make sure you really push down firmly on that wick just so that it's directly in the middle of the mason jar and then you want to remove your wax off of the stove and make sure you wear a mitten because it's going to be super super hot so you just want to directly pour your wax right into the mason jar and after you finish pouring your wax into the mason jar you're going to go ahead and leave it in your fridge for 35 minutes until it becomes a solid and you also want to take two pencils or straws chopsticks whatever you have and put it right on top of the jar just like this just so that when the wax becomes a solid the wick will stay right and directly into place and it's just going to become a nice candle so yeah this is what you should get and if you guys want to see how i did two multicolors, like a pink and white then just keep on watching So now you're just going to take two jars, put the wicks right into the middle and you're just repeating the same process. You're going to go ahead and melt another bowl of wax and put your fragrance cubes. I chose orange for this one and you're going to want to split it up. So put half the wax into one and then half of the wax into another. Then you're going to put it in your fridge for 35 minutes, let it become a solid. So while it's becoming a solid, you're going to go ahead and place another wax bowl and melt it down and make sure you use a different fragrance cubes so I did orange and it's gonna turn into a white so you might want to go ahead and do a cinnamon so it's gonna turn from red to pink and then you're just gonna layer the colors however many colors you want but just keep in mind that the fragrance might get a little bit clamped up so I just used two different fragrances for this one this one's papaya and then the other one was I think cinnamon <laughs> so yeah you just want to keep repeating the steps and yeah just keep melting it down put as many cubes as you want I like to do about three to four cubes Prefer personal preference up to you but yeah this is how you do DIY candles I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was super super fun and easy to do I think they make a great holiday gift and they're super cute for the house and they make your house smell amazing so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already guys I will see you in my next video. Bye!